My name is Dr. Paula Meth. I'm in the Department of Urban Studies and Planning and I'm a reader in the department. So I teach across all year groups in the department, so from first year undergraduate through to masters. Um, I supervise a range of PhD students as well. Um, I sometimes teach on the kind of PhD methods training program as well. Um, at undergraduate I teach um, a module housing home and it's just, sorry, it's just called Housing and Home, Housing and Home. Um, and I also teach the second year um, Urban Theory module and the new second year module, which we're really enjoying teaching, which is the um, Cities, Crime and Violence module. Um, and then I guess the kind of flagship key module that I teach, um, that I've been teaching for some time, is the Cities of Diversity module, which is a fourth year master's um, module, which looks at questions of kind of sexuality, gender, race, um, experiences of sort of living in diverse cities around the world. Um, I also teach um, in the geography department as well, so I teach on their ideas and practice module. That's a master's level module, um, looking at questions of gender and culture, um, primarily in the global south. So uh, most of my teaching relates to the global south, but not exclusively. Um, so I think for me, in terms of what I enjoy about teaching in USP and wor working in USP, it's just it's just watching our students grow. So from first year through to fourth year, and because I because I teach quite a bit at first year, and then I get them again. I mean, I teach throughout, so I teach them, um, you know, in second and third year. But by the time they get to fourth year, it's just wonderful to see how confident they are and how skilled they are at kind of um, really asking critical questions and, and engaging critically in. in in both academic literature but also um, more sort of policy relevant um, material so I really like watching that journey um, obviously with master's students it's very different and they come for a shorter period of time but again we see that growth we see that kind of intellectual confidence build from you know from September when they arrive and they're quite anxious and nervous and they're trying to think about their dissertation ideas and, and, and you know they're settling into Sheffield and then just watching them kind of mature over that um, that kind of year and a bit um, is, is really rewarding and I think um, watching students kind of develop through their dissertations I really enjoy that so, so I've supervised hundreds of <laughs> master's dissertations over the years and I think just watching students kind of um, struggle in the beginning to articulate a project and, and, and be clear about what they um, want to study and what's feasible and then you know through the summer kind of delivering something which is really um, exciting and quite personal to them um, and links to their own kind of research ambitions. I, I really enjoy that process of watching them. And I guess I would say the same for PhD students. I've supervised a lot of PhD students. So for me, it's that journey, that journey of um, growth and change and confidence. Um, I really enjoy that. And that includes students who come from quite different backgrounds. So, you know, we, we, we don't just get students who kind of come in with geography A-levels. We get a, a real range of students. And so it's just watching a kind of diversity of students kind of grow in, the, in, in sort of together but also in their own on their own journeys I, I think that's what I find the most stimulating um, so you can probably tell from my accent I am not a local Yorkshire lass um, I was born in South Africa and I did my um, my undergrad and my master's in South Africa but I, I came to the UK to do my PhD um, it's a very comfortable friendly city um, I think I think the scale of the city is really wonderful I think it just makes for a very kind of high quality of life, just, just being in a city of the scale where you have kind of access to the kind of cultural things that you might want, but you also have um, access to the countryside. So I'm uh, obsessive, I would say, about the Peak District. And I know, I know that's a kind of cliche about Sheffield that we talk about the peaks, um, but being on the edge of the National Park is probably the biggest draw card for me. And, um, and I think, um, yeah, I think it's affordable and I think it's um, increasingly diversifying as well. Um, so that sort of makes it more interesting. Um, but it's also just really easy to get to other places. It's quick to get to London, um, you know, it's quick to get to, to the north and to Manchester. So, so for me, the location is really um, convenient as well. Yeah.